Hiya, my name is Ricky Steele and I have just finished studying a BA in Teaching and Learning at the University of Cumbria. I chose to study Teaching and Learning because I knew I wanted to work in education but I wasn't exactly sure what sector suited me best. Initially I thought I wanted to be a primary school teacher but upon completing the placements that my course allowed me to do I realised that being a classroom teacher isn't exactly what I what that worked best for me. I wanted to work with the children and nurture them and I especially was involved and cared about their social and emotional well-being which is really difficult to do in a classroom when you've got a million other things going on around you. So I have realised that my talents and my skills work best in education outside of the classroom. So that's me. I think the first difficulty I overcame was my dyslexia. I was only recently diagnosed as dyslexic when I came to university. So having to muddle through a new learning difficulty while also learning a lot of new content is quite difficult. But thankfully the university were very, very supportive with me. I met with the disability team and we created a plan for me, for my me and my needs. I All my tutors knew and were really, really helpful in getting, supporting me in any way I needed. And I also created a very strong bond with the library support service team who were very helpful and answered all of my queries and questions even though I had absolutely tons. Um, I think coming from Northern Ireland and being away from home, I also dealt with a lot of home, a lot, a lot of homesickness, which didn't really hit until second year actually. So I think knowing that homesickness can happen at any time and it's not just, you know, after the first couple of weeks, it wasn't until second year that I actually really started to miss home. And I think it's that's about having the support system around you. So ha letting your friends know if you're struggling a little bit, being able to contact home, you know, I know you want to be big and grown up, but you know, I rung my mum every day. She rang me and she loved it. And it was really nice just to have that con that connection with home on the bad days. And I think knowing that university can be tough at times and knowing who to talk to. So talk to your patch tutors, talk to your friends, talk to Samaritans or the counselling service if you really need to. University is supposed to be the best time of our lives, we're told, but that doesn't mean that sometimes it's really difficult. And it's about knowing that you're not the only one that's gone through some struggles like that, that it's very normal. I chose to study at the University of Cumbria because it felt like home. There's a vibe at the University of Cumbria that's really hard to explain, but it kind of feels like family. Everyone knows everyone. You won't go past someone without them speaking to you or waving, you know, and all the staff are so friendly from the lectures to, you know, the staff in the cafes to the security teams. You know, everyone is just so lovely and everyone just makes you feel at home. And I really enjoyed that the lectures shared the passion that I had from the very first interview I had. Um, during my interview, we, you know, it didn't really feel like an interview, it just felt like a chat. And um, we got to talking about, you know, parts of education, you know, about how my schooling was different from an English schooling and things like that. There was just a vibe that they really wanted you there and they cared about you, which was really nice. You know, they kept up contact throughout all of the application process, you know, with emails and posting little things out about looking forward to you coming, coming to join them. And that vibe didn't really leave during my whole three years. You know, you very much feel part of a, part of a team at the University of Cumbria and that's something that I really enjoyed coming from. A small town, so a smaller campus suited me quite well. I didn't feel overwhelmed. I didn't feel like I was going to get lost, you know. And if I did get lost, which did happen a few times, there was always someone to point you in the right direction, you know, whether it be a fellow student or a member of staff. I have to give it to my lecturers. They made the course what it is, you know. The content was absolutely brilliant. It was so engaging, you know. They catered for all our different learning styles. It wasn't just sitting and listening, you know. We were up, we were active, you know. If we were learning about the early years, we were dressing up, we were playing outside, we were building dens, you know. If, you know, there was always a way to explain something if you didn't understand it the first time, you know. If we were learning about ICT, we were playing with the, with the little bugs or, you know, the dictaphones and things like that. You know, they made everything so hands-on and it wasn't just a case of sitting there and listening to someone speak for three hours. It was so hands-on and if you ever had a question, they were there to answer it, you know. If you needed extra support, their office door was always open. And that's something that I really enjoyed. I also really appreciated the aspect of having a patch or having that one person you could go to with your worries and your concerns. 
goodness knows I was with mine a lot and that's something that I really appreciated that my partner was always there whenever I needed her you know she was always an email away I could pop into her office anytime I needed if I had any questions or concerns I just felt very supportive from very early on which I think something was actually brilliant I also really enjoy, enjoyed the placement opportunities that my course allowed me to do. So I, we did placement two days a week and we were on uni three days a week. So that felt like we had a perfect balance of everything. It also meant that, you know, there was there was a, there was a possibility for employment within a placement because you could give them two time team, timetable days, which I knew a lot of people in my course actually managed to get, which is absolutely fantastic. And it meant that you kind of had a routine, which I think was really good for for us. And we meant we knew what we were doing every week, and that really helped. You know, especially coming up to deadlines, it meant you could time you could you could um work with your time well, so you knew how to get everything in on time while still keeping up with your placement responsibilities. I wish I'd known that the people I would meet would be friends for life and not to be so shy when it first started that everyone was new and everyone was experiencing something new and not to be worried that oh they might not like me or oh, what if what if I don't make any friends because everyone is so keen to get on with each other and to make friends and the friends I made there I know I'll have be friends for life we've been through so many ups and downs together I think that's the first thing is don't be nervous on your first day because everyone is in the same boat number two read 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 what the lectures give you because it's only going to help you it might seem like a task at the time but believe me when it comes to assignment writing it is key and it's very important and not only that it means you know a lot outside of the assignments as well it means that you're well read on the situation around you which will only help you when it comes to further down the line in a career number three talk to people when you're struggling if you have a question ask it you're not the only person thinking it I bet you five people around you in the same room are thinking that exact same question it's about being brave and being the one that asks it if you don't understand something that's absolutely fine you lots of things lots of things you're going to be learning are new and they throw some weird phrases at you and you won't catch them the first time if you're like me you won't catch them the second time and it's about knowing that the lectures are there to support you they want to see you succeed so if, you, if you're struggling, if you've got a question, just ask it and they will explain it and they won't mind how many times they have to explain it. Goodness knows I've had to be told things more than once, more than twice, more than three times, but it works and it sticks. And when you click, and when it clicks with you, that look in the lecture's face is absolutely brilliant. Number four, go to the library. I know people that have finished my degree and have not been to the library once and I don't understand that. Go to the library, speak to librarians, they will help you. If you can't find a book, just ask. The library is a perfect place to study, first of all. It's really quiet. There's lots of there's lots of resources, you know, if you need laminating pouches, they've got them. They've also got a laminator. Things like that will really help you when you're if you have to build some resources for some of your courses. But not only that, it's it's central, you know, if you're struggling to find journal articles, they'll be able to help you. You know, if you re if there's a book you're really interested in, you can get it on like an intern library loan. I think the library is so important and the staff there are absolutely lovely and I think it's a brilliant place to get some work done as well. You know, there's lots of areas in the library you can go to if you like a little bit of noise or if you like being absolutely silent, go to the library. And my last tip why I wish I knew before I started the course is that education is bigger than a classroom. I know that sounds silly in a way because that's kind of what our course is all about but I wish I'd known that from the beginning and realised that how wide and vast education is because I think it would have helped me at the start to just work out everything in terms of everything else you know at the time I thought I wanted to be a primary school teacher and I was so tunnel visioned on that I wish I'd been a little more aware of everything from the very beginning because I feel like that would have helped me in the first year when I was struggling with what I wanted to do I really, I just think no one that education is much wider than that would have helped me and made me not worry as much when I did have some doubts about not wanting to be a primary school teacher because I thought that was what everyone wanted to do. So I think that that would have helped me calm down a lot. I think first of all, talk to people who have done the course. Ask questions at open days. I know it's a little bit difficult with everything that's going on now, but you know, Speak to people who have done the course. That's the most important part. Get to know their insight. Get to know what they liked. Anything they find difficult, you know, get some top tips from people who've been through it. Number two, speak to your patch chair. 
get to know your Patrick really well. They're they're your main source of support, I would say. Definitely my main source of support. And um, they will they're there to look after your well being. So if you're struggling with anything, let them know. And or if you have any questions about your assignments or anything, they might not be able to answer directly, but they can give some they can point you into the direction of people that will know. Or, you know, will they be able to give you some general advice? Or they're just there if you need a chat. I you know I struggled a lot in second year with just needing someone to talk to. I felt and I find my Patrick really, really helpful. And me and her have got a very good bond. And lastly, the third tip I would give for students like the same course as you is to do it. Take the leap. You know, if you're not sure that teaching that primary teaching in a classroom is for you, the three year the three year primary degree is to tailor directly to that there's not a room not a lot of room for change whereas our degree the prime my deg- our degree like I created it the teaching and learning degree is so much wider than that and I think that if you have if you're having those doubts this degree is for you because it make it gives you room to make decisions and it gives you room to change your mind which I have done and I have really valued that I that I did this degree not the three year because I did change my mind and I wasn't stuck I didn't have to stop and start again. You know, I was, I was, I was given the room to change my mind and try different things, and I was never told it wasn't a good idea. Where I was let, I was allowed to explore a lot of things until I made my final decision. So I'm actually going to going to undertake a social work masters once I graduate, hoping to start in this September or considering deferring for a year due to the COVID situation. So the following September. And I'm probably going to use that to go into something like educational welfare so I can combine the skills I've learned on this degree and my social work skills to ensure I can best support students in a way that I feel like I feel like they need to be supported in this day and age. So that's everything. I hope you find this helpful. Um, if you've got any other further questions, I'm sure that if you get in contact with someone, they'll pass them on to me. Thank you. Bye.